are you ready for the final episode of Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom? That is right, we managed to get the ending to the game and the true secret ending to the game. But what if I told you there was more hidden around the clock? That is right, today I have a cheat that allows me to go through walls and go anywhere we want and I know for a fact there's actually stuff hidden outside the maps that you cannot see during normal gameplay and it will reveal the darkest deepest secrets of the game that you really don't want to know about so let's go ahead and get into it after a word from our sponsor Opera GX is the world's first browser designed for gamers whether you're streaming gaming or even just listening to your favorite music this browser is designed to make your life a little less stressful. One of the coolest features is GX Control that allows you to limit your RAM and CPU however you like so you don't get the lag anymore while playing your games or streaming. Nobody wants that terrible experience, you know? Not only that, this browser has GX Corner which allows you to find free games and stay up to date on the latest deals. Well maybe you don't want to play any games and maybe you just want to watch people play. With built in Twitch integration, you just click on there and everybody that I'm followed is streaming right here. I can click on everybody. Shroud, everybody knows him I think. And there we go. We have Shroud playing right now live. Pretty cool. And I can also easily check my Twitter if I want or my Discord at any time. Just by clicking on the sidebar while watching the stream. I don't have to load other tabs, load other pages. It's all right there built in. There's also cool things like built in ad blocks, which you better, I don't even know why I'm telling you. How about built in VPN? As easy as clicking that and clicking that and we're good. Just like that, I have a built in VPN. But if I don't like the whole look of this little bit of red accent, we can go over here and literally change any theme. And how about we go with something like, ooh, Vaporwave. That looks pretty cool. And if you're browsing Google and you're pretty much being blinded, go down here, four dark pages. Every single page you now go on will be dark. Can you believe it? Your eyes will rest easy and you can finally focus on finding what you need to. So go ahead and download this browser with the link in the description and tell me how it changed your life forever because I know it did. I know. Back to the video. So here we go. We're going to start off with Glove Dude. World. There's nothing in the tutorial. I mean, it's cool to look outside the levels, but there's really nothing hidden in the tutorial and we've already found Krusty and all those crazy things in a previous episode. But from here, we can literally just bounce through the walls with this hack and quickly go to areas we haven't been. And really the cool thing on this level that I think we don't really get to see is the glove boat. Down here is usually a blocked path, but we can see, if you could barely read that, the glove boat. And it kind of just looks like a regular boat from the Flying Dutchman. I can kind of fly, but not really. That's honestly a kind of neat little thing. Here is the glove boat. Seems like a normal boat to me. Nothing too interesting. Now I haven't completely explored every single level. I have explored some things already, but I'm also going to be trying to check out stuff here and there. Let's see if I can uncover more secrets. Cause trust me, by the time we get to the end of this video, whoo, there's something deeply, deeply disturbing here we're gonna go ahead and leave and we're back into the world outside the tunnel of glove once we already enter it but there's pretty much nothing here it's all removed besides this and maybe a restroom all the way out there for some reason now this is supposed to be the room you go in and the two gloves kill you but we can actually finally see what is down here which is a little bit hard to see but it's just an empty room and over here is actually a door. A door we never get to see ever. And behind the door is nothing. There's nothing behind the door. <laughs> but it's still cool that there was a door way behind that level. Now I'm gonna keep on progressing level to level on my own. If I find anything, I will show it in the video. If it's pretty much nothing or not interesting, then we're just gonna go on to the next level. Okay, SpongeBob. Yep. We are outside SpongeBob's pineapple. It's kind of cool that it's literally next to Squidward's and Patrick's rock. Like it's not just some whole other area. 
But this don't look like a pineapple. <laughs> How do you fit this whole place inside a pineapple, SpongeBob? Wow. Now we can actually already go outside Squidward's house. But when we go inside, it's obviously we're not outside. So what happens if we go outside this, if any of that makes sense? Holy squ Squidward's house. Honestly, they got the nose and the eyes right. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised, but there's no uh, SpongeBob's house anymore. It's gone. Okay, so let's go back inside the house. Where am I when I go outside? That Like, where am I teleported to? I have to be teleported somewhere, right? Is there anything under the map? There's nothing under the map, or so it seems. Very interesting. I don't know where the other half of this map is. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the three main houses over here. But if you go way down this street, and obviously I'm speeding up time by a lot, uh, we could get to Squidward's house all the way down the street. He has two houses. So you're pretty much just teleporting over. Honestly, it's really cool to see how this game is designed. All right, so let's see what is outside of Patrick's Rock, which doesn't look anything like Bikini Bottom, but I kind of expected that. All right, we're at Mr. Krabs. Let's see if there's anything outside Mr. Krabs' home. And honestly, unexpected. I thought we were gonna, oh, we are outside. <laughs> I thought we were going to go outside and we are outside. Holy Mr. Krabs, you have a big house. There's something over here out in the middle of nowhere. Is this his roof? I think I found Mr. Krabs roof. It was literally a mile away just behind a ton of rocks. What? Oh, and inside is nothing. I just crashed the game. <laughs> So if Mr. Krabs' roof is somewhere else, what does this roof look like? We're going to find out right now. We're doing a zoom out, and it literally is just a big empty space. Now I can sort of see why they made his house somewhere else. It's, the roof is so huge. <laughs> it's just so huge. So now let's go on to Tentacle Acres. This was the first level I really, really wanted okay. to move around in. I'm so, I was so excited to go through, and I did it before recording, and there are several very interesting things, plus a very scary secret. Literally our first real secret of the video. So we're not gonna go in Tentacle Acres, okay? That's the boring way. We're gonna go around Tentacle Acres. Let's just go ahead and speed up time a little bit. And let's jump through this barrier. And we're just gonna go around. Nice and easy. Now the cool part is we get to go inside Tentacle Acres as Squidward. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And it's just a giant desert with uh, some buried heads and obviously the background. But we get to see the fully completed one as Squidward also. All we gotta do is go back through here get into the door and then here we are in the surveillance room now I always wondered what was behind this door right here because you can interact this is just an elevator that the giant mechanical dog thing comes through at the end there's nothing up or down I've already checked but the real good stuff is down here I got it Patrick don't you worry I am going in going in further we have to go in here again and boom, we're in the legitimate tentacle acres. You don't normally get the play as is. You see it on the camera and Patrick goes through here. I just thought it's really cool that we get to see it in first person view. It's a little dark, but uh, we should be okay. Now, deep in here somewhere is where the secret is. Hello, I am a fellow squid just like you. Yes, you believe me. All right, so now let's find that secret. So as you're going through this level, the lamp posts light up as if you're supposed to go out here uh, while breaking the game, I think. I don't know. So normally Patrick would go this way. If we go this way, and I have the speed really fast. Let me slow it down to normal speed. 
we still have a path that's blocked by boats. Now, Patrick, I don't go down here, but where is this path leading us? And as you can see, way back here is an anchor. Really, really cool. But what is at this anchor? Let's find out. Hello, anchor. I am here. If you listen carefully. Listen very carefully. That literally gave me goosebumps. That's so, so creepy to hear the sound. But what does it signify? I don't know. See, we can go check the top of that. If we check the bottom of this, uh, <laughs> hello, are you still alive, sir? Why are you buried under there? Please let me know. Does he want out? Is this Barry's like alternate twin or something? I don't know. I don't I don't really want to be near that anymore. It's kind of creeping me out. But yeah. A very hidden secret that you will never see unless you can literally like, get out of the entire levels of the game. Which is honestly really, really cool. Let's see what's inside Mrs. Puff's boating skull. We can't go inside here originally until we get uh, the key. That's locked. He's literally guarding that fried body. Oh, the poor fish, man. And we can't go in here. Whoa. Whoa, there's actually an inside. Let's see if there's anything inside the lighthouse, right? Go. Nothing inside the lighthouse. Very empty. Okay, let's go into Mrs. Puff's boating school. Okay, we have the terrified kids, but there's only two of them. Where's the other one? We're missing a kid. What the heck? What about over here? What's that? We have a door that's locked, but of course, we can go on the other side. Padre made me censor this Easter egg. At least you can still find it in the pre-alpha of my Patreon. I never got the pre-alpha on the Patreon. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Starfish Man Filter. Um, that's a cheat code I got actually from JSK Bean's channel. And that will brighten up a lot of the darkness and also make a lot of the bright spots dark in a way, as you can see on the map. But it's gonna allow us to see in dark areas like the Doom a lot better. Now the main thing I wanted to see in this level is this room. We never get to go in, but now we do. What is it? It's just a regular old mayo room. <laughs> Literally nothing in here but a ton of mayo, which could have helped you guys. It really could have helped us. Now what I wanted to see is first of all, what does it look like when we go up here? <laughs> this is what it looks like when we go up here. There aren't any buttons we can press, unfortunately, but it's still kind of cool. So now it's time for one I'm really excited about. We have the vision to see in the dark. And now we're doing the Krusty Krab. There's a whole world out there ready to explore. I don't know if there's going to be any secrets, but there's, it's going to be pretty cool to see what is outside the Krusty Krab without the Hashling and Slasher trying to kill us. So I chose the graveyard shift because of this Easter egg. And then we can go outside and hang out with our buddy Dave Snowmizzle. And I'm sorry, I don't know the other two names, but you know, they're part of the team. They helped out a lot. And where is, uh, interesting you don't see him. Now, we shouldn't actually die, I think. Uh, because he's going to try to kill us inside the, the Krusty Krab. While we're going to be outside the Krusty Krab. Right? Cool. So let's visit the Chum Bucket. Which is honestly... <laughs> A tiny little place. Can we go inside the chum bucket? 
We are inside the chum bucket and there's nothing inside. But back here, it's actually a huge town. 310. So we have one full in game hour to explore this town, which looks really cool. There's a lot of detail. We got these boats. We have this giant, what is this supposed to be, Mr. Krabs' house? Last time there was one of these, there was something under the ground. So I just gotta check under the ground for a second. Okay, there's nothing down there. <laughs> just gotta make sure. What else do we got in Bikini Bottom? Hey, Gary. He's just hanging out. I wanna hang out up here too. <laughs> a nice little crawl space for us, huh? I could push Gary? What? I can't push him over the edge, but I definitely pushed him forward. That was very strange. Hey, Gary. Wow. I'm literally pushing you around. What? I did not expect that. Let's see what's on top of the Krusty Krab. There's a little dish on top. But pretty much nothing else is out here. Whoa. Okay, I did not expect to find Doodle Patrick out here. But apparently, yeah. He's out here. Uh, I guess you have to look very, very closely in order to spot him outside the initial window. Holy heck, that kind of spooked me. What I want to know is what's down there. Do we even go down there? Part of the map am I at? <laughs> Hello? Now this map was supposed to be much bigger than it actually turned out in the end, but... I'm a weird part I've never seen before. Oh, we're way up here. This is a bridge nobody ever has walked on before. Can you believe this bridge, you guys? Amazing. Amazing bridge. I can't believe I'm walking on bridge. Uh, I didn't expect this, but this sandcastle level is so much bigger than I thought. <laughs> it's huge. All right, so I've went through all the levels. I didn't find anything really interesting on the regular levels, but now it's time for the ultimate disturbing secret. And I suggest everyone look away. Do we proceed? Let's do this thing. The Krusty Krab. I haven't gone through the rest of the levels, but I have gone through the Krusty Krab. Have you ever wondered what SpongeBob and Squidward are doing as Mr. Krabs is trying to save Patrick and save the day? Well, you better not have wondered that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if we move the camera around into the back, we can see SpongeBob and Squidward, uh... Squidward's choking and Spongebob is just trying to to help him out there because he's choking on a Krabby Patty and you know that's what's going on totally totally what's going on in the world <laughs> do not question anything I don't even know what is oh my moving is so weird right now rock bottom with the filter, which allows you to see a lot. You just can't uh, travel far because those things are going to kill you. But we can check what's inside the restrooms. Nothing in this one. And nothing in this one. But still cool to see. Alright, here we are in the bubble bowl. Let's see what we got. We got advertisements on the side. Killers wanted. We usually don't see this. But apparently there's killers wanted. Let's rock and sock. Is this an actual thing? Why is there Dave paid for this ad? I don't know if you can usually see these on the side or not. But uh, these are some cool ads they got out here. With the actual goal line stuff. And in the end zone it says... Team Jelly. I believe it says... And we have a bunch of non-figures in the stands. I was expecting to probably see somebody. Team Barry. Huh. Interesting. We got Team Barry on this end zone. And there we have it. 
Beating the game. And finding the final secrets hidden outside the level that we wouldn't be able to find any other time. And the real big one to me was the berry buried <laughs> under the anchor and the creepy sounds. What was going on there? I'm not too sure, but we still have a sequel game and we will be playing that very, very shortly. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Links for Come on, Pranos. You think you can stand on the sidelines? I don't think so. Give me that. <laughs>